Let's do this one. So first we need to identify the rhythm. Is it regular or irregular? Well, it looks pretty regular, right? Until we get to right here. So this is going to make this strip irregular. Now let's identify our atrial rate. We count the P's. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's no P wave right here. Seven, eight, nine. So our atrial rate is 90. Now the ventricular rate. We count the QRS complexes. 11. So that will make it 110. Now we have to classify our P waves. So the P waves are present. They are upright. But they are not uniform because there's one that is missing. So we can write that too if you'd like. Now we have to identify the PR interval. So take your calipers, line it up to find the PR interval. That looks like it's about four boxes. So the answer is 0 0.16. Now for the QRS. Q, QRS, that's about two boxes. So we have 0 0.08. Now, what is our interpretation of this? We have our P waves, we have our QRSs. So it seems pretty sinus rhythm, right? This is within our limits. So because our ventricular rate is 110, that means we're sinus tachycardia. However, we do have this junction right here that makes it irregular. So, there is no P wave on this. So that is gonna make it a premature, because it came early, junctional contraction. And we know it's junctional because there is no P wave. And the QRS complex is in with, within normal limits. So it's gonna be sinus tachycardia with one premature junctional contraction, with one PJC. Because there's only one junctional contraction that came prematurely. So this is sinus tachycardia with one PJC, premature junctional contraction.